This is David Jack, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools, with another edition of One Hard Question. Um, this week's hard question comes from the letter C. Uh, and C writes, uh, as you know, 12-month employees follow administrative office procedures and come in when schools are closed due to inclement weather. However, the county that is deemed to have gone green as well as energy efficient, how can that truly be effective when in the course of inclement weather, 12-month employees are called to come in to work? Is it in this county with 20 schools and numerous buildings that are heated wherein 12-month employees currently work? The heating of these buildings on inclement weather days for about four or five staff members does not really seem energy efficient to me. So my question is, how is it monetarily feasible that 12-month employees work on snow days and inclement weather days to heat 20 plus buildings for a handful of people? Thanks for your consideration. C. Uh, okay, well, thanks for your question. Um, there's, I guess, several different ways to answer this. Folks who are on 12-month contracts, who sign 12-month contracts, are expected to work, uh, I think it is uh, 260 days, give or take, uh, and that's the length of their contract. So, as is often the case on inclement weather days, um, they're required to come in and uh, do all those things that can be done uh, when students are not present. Um, custodians, for example, and cleaning buildings. Uh, answering phones, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the nature of being and signing a 12-month contract. Uh, that comes with the territory. Uh, and um, so that is what it is. Now, as far as heating the buildings for four or five people, well, it's not just that. We heat the buildings uh, to keep pipes from freezing, et cetera. It was seven degrees this morning when I came to work. We hate to think about being in a building that wasn't heated, even if there are just four or five people there. That seems kind of cruel, uh, but the, and the, the whole issue with pipes freezing, et cetera, is something that should be taken into consideration also. And um, so there's the answer to that question. Um, I need to follow up on last week's question relative to different start and stop times for um, different schools. I did some research, and we did indeed have one principal years ago who requested a longer school day because he felt he needed it. But subsequently, the length of the school day was lengthened um, for everyone. And so that issue was sort of moot. Uh, so I think going back to my answer from last week, I think what it comes down to is transportation, just the length of the bus trips to and from. But if you have a, sp a specific example, I would just need you to maybe send me an email or call me and share it with me because I did some digging and I really can't find any significant discrepancies that don't that don't relate directly to transportation. So hope that's helpful. Stay warm. Keeps the questions coming. Thanks very much.